breaking tonight. New and exclusive details about a man who died at a student apartment at Georgia State University. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy has been following this story. He joins us live from downtown Atlanta. And Jamie, you have spoken to a source close to the investigation. Tell us what you've learned. Well, Rick, my source has confirmed a number of details unknown until now. Take a listen. 24-year-old Deontay Davis died on Sunday at the 112 Cortland Apartments after, according to police, a night of heavy drinking. Police say Davis was staying with GSU students at the apartments and responded to an unresponsive person call. They state that Davis was in an altercation with a security guard and at some point became unconscious and that CPR was started by that security guard. Davis was transported to Grady Hospital where he was pronounced dead. I spoke with a source close to the investigation who says the security guard was interviewed by police and has been released. My source also tells me that the manager of 112 Cortland said that the security guard acted very professionally after reviewing security footage and that CPR was administered under directive of a 911 operator. The source also says Narcan, a drug used to combat an overdose, was given to Davis at the scene. GSU students say the apartments are known for parties. Yeah. There's always like parties, everybody hang out at 112, but I've never heard about anybody passing away. Now, my source also tells me that Davis and his friends were fighting before they entered the apartment building. Rick. Jamie, let's talk about arrests. Have any of them been made yet relating to Davis's death? Rick, so far, no arrests have been made. We do know that the security guard was interviewed by police. He is at the center of this investigation, but he was released by them. Now, my source who is close to that investigation says that the 911 call w does hold a lot of pertinent information and we are working to get that so we can release that to everyone else. Rick. Jamie Kennedy live for us tonight. Jamie, thank you.